Hello guys, my name is Salman Farsi. My name is Benjamin Libby. Uh, we're from Politecnico di Torino and we worked on a project which uh, uh, was given by Professor Sterpone and Professor Montuski uh, that are holding the course of uh, computer architecture. And uh, we decided uh, to do a classic space video game um, which is uh, yeah, just a classic with a spaceship, enemies shooting at you and uh, you are shooting at them. So uh, yeah. we can go into... Yeah, we can go to a board, let's see. Okay, here we have a cyborg FPGA. Yeah, this is the cable we use to program. It's a USB cable yeah. that we connect to the JTAG yeah. programmable yeah. port. Yeah. This is our VGA output. It is a 16 bits VGA. We, we configured the interface of the, this VGA. These are the buttons of the movement. So we yeah. will move our spaceship like this. And yeah. this is a switch we decided to use uh, to shoot. Because we don't have another push button. So yeah. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Here we are in the section of our VHDL coding of our project. So this is the main of our project. These are the synchronization section and uh, reclock uh, component uh, and pixel generation and other components which we used in our game. So not going into the detail. So this is just to show you the code. Let's go to the next step. Okay, here we have uh, our Xilinx ISC software 14.7 version. And this is our RTL schematic uh, of our coding. It's uh, our projects, our game. And this is the main of our coding. This is our uh, uh, input of uh, keys, which are uh, the keys we want to use it. And the main clock, uh, uh, of course, the main clock we are going to use it in the shoot. This is a special uh, stuff. Okay. So the output will be RGB signals. Okay, this will be video auto and horizontal synchronization and vertical synchronization which will display our video. Okay, okay. let's go inside. Inside we have the reclock component because uh, the clock uh, of the board was higher, it was uh, 125 megahertz and we needed 108 megahertz. So uh, we have a reclock component. Then there is uh, this uh, synchronization component which will deal with all the problems about uh, synchronization of the video output. Yeah. And then we have the pixel generator which will basically generate all the components in our game. So our spaceship, the bullets, uh, the enemies. And uh, I don't want to go into too much detail but uh, entering in inside the pixel generator yeah. uh, we can see it's a very complex uh, circuit especially if we zoom out but uh, let me show you some of the components for example here we have the bullet component uh, we have many flip-flops registers here we have the enemy number three component. So enemies, as yeah. you can see, it, it is really complex. So I don't want to go into too much detail. Okay, this is enough. Okay, okay guys. So now we're going to show a quick demonstration of how our video game actually works. So we're going to play a game. So now I'm going to program the board and it's going to appear on the monitor. Okay, here we are. I'm the spaceship and uh, on the bottom and I'm moving, I can shoot. As you see, the enemies will appear uh, once in a while and they're gonna shoot at me. And uh, up in the left corner, I have three hearts, which uh, yeah. indicates uh, my lives. So now I'm gonna show you if I die, so I'm gonna get caught, I reappear on the bottom right corner of the screen and I have one life less so let's get shot again come on so okay, the lights here. get green when and here again when and here is game over so now I'm gonna show you in case we okay. win the game 
Okay, here we compile our FPG again. So this is the display region of our um, game. So the display region for our game is a uh, uh, horizontal uh, pixel visible uh, region is 1280 and for vertical visible region is 1024 pixels. So this is uh, our configuration of our game. So now yeah. he is going to shoot all the enemies and what he gets. Okay. Uh, you win. I win. Yeah. We just uh, put a few enemies here uh, yeah, just, just to for, get an idea. Yeah, just yeah. to get an idea. But uh, adding enemies is just a matter of uh, copying the components. So it's just a matter of copying and pasting in the code. Yeah, it's not a big problem. Okay, okay. I hope you guys like it. Yeah, Enjoy. hope you guys like it and uh, bye bye.